I am here with the lovely Michelle DeAngelis. You look nice. How you feeling? I feel amazing. You look amazing, too. Thank you. So you sing, you're a songwriter, and you play the piano. Triple threat. Correct. How long have you been playing the piano? My whole life. No, just, when I was about five, pretty right. much my whole life. Yeah. How did you get into that? My mom said, take piano lessons. Really? And then it was like, you know, I was just kind of gravitated towards it. It was easy for me. And when I was in the third grade, I was the accompanist for the school. So I just, it was just a thing that okay. I did. Yeah. Right. So I was on your page, your website, and you've done a lot. Like you've worked with a lot of people in the industry already. So just tell us a little bit about that. And how was that experience? Um, well, I'm just trying to do as many things as possible. So I just try to work with anybody, you know, that, that, that I feel is, is, close to what I'm trying to do and and I just love all music and so yeah so who are some of your um, musical influences that's really hard <laughs> that's a hard question okay so I played classical piano my whole life so I I just love piano in general um, songwriters like Carly Simon Stevie Wonder um, Don Henley. Um, I my first record was Whitney Houston. Um, I used to go to sleep to the Michael Jackson Bad album. Like I just I <laughs> I just love all music. So to say like who exactly my influences are, I don't know. But it's so just music I, yeah. in general. It's just life. It's just everything. Yeah. So what do you love most about being an artist? Creating. I think the creative process, making something that's out of nothing. You know you you. You, you're like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna make something I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, I want to make something and it's like it comes out of thin air it comes from some <laughs> it comes from somewhere else like it's not it, it wasn't here before and then suddenly yeah. and and that's like that, that's really cool and I love to like just keep making things and yeah because music is the one thing and and songs it, it solves people's problems it it helps people deal with life and it's like the most important thing uh, uh, to me right. besides health care <laughs> health is important we need health care health is wealth but um so what is the creative process for you as far as writing songs do you ever get writer's block how do you deal with that you know writing songs is a skill so it's something that you have to practice so you you, you make tools you, you you find tools to help you but um my process is really just doing it trying to do it daily and and just making my sure that I sit down and just like write something or create a part or whatever it is I just I usually go to the piano and write but sometimes I will dream songs but most of the time I go to the piano and I just mess around and I'm like oh I think that's cool and then I'm like what does it make me think of and da, da, da. or if somebody's like write a song about this then I have something in mind and you know so I, um, I saw that you had a single while and it was featured on a 9-11 documentary how, did, how was that? That's a long time ago, yeah. Um, I, I wrote this song called With the Angels, and it was used for, like, two DVDs, and I got a plaque from the New York City Fire Commissioner, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that about nice. the singles you're doing tonight. So, well, right now I'm working on a, um, a song for Global Warming, um, which is pretty awesome, called Glimmer of Hope. I'm very excited about that song. Um, the other songs are just a conglomerate of things that I've done over time. Um, I had this song Meridian, which I recorded last summer, which um, I got the name out of a dictionary. That's one of the things that I use to create, so I don't have writer's block. Okay. And Sia does that, you know, you go and you're like, duh, 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 eh. okay, that's kind of cool. Right. You know, and you, yeah, so anyway. But um, <laughs> the other songs are, are just different things that have happened in my life. I, I, I try to be as truthful and honest in the material that I put out there. I like that though. It feels like you know the artists when they're like real truthful and it's relatable. And they, I feel like I know you as a person, not just as an artist. You're not putting on any act or anything. Yeah, no, I want to be open. I'm that kind of person anyway. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna just share my stories, and and maybe my stories will help somebody else deal with their own stuff, you know. And it's always like that. That's why that's good. You got music in it. Everyone listens to music. It's like a universal language. It definitely <laughs> is. So what else can we expect from you? Just give your social media, any upcoming projects. Yep, so um, I'm currently on a song with Will Trax. Uh, he just released a song called Work. Um, and I'm working on the global warming song called Glimmer of Hope. And my Instagram is Michelle DeAngelis Music, like Los Angeles. 
the word music, uh, my <laughs> website, mdangelismusic.com, um, Facebook, Michelle D'Angelis Music. Uh, yeah, just Michelle D'Angelis. Like, that's it. Just that's it. Google just Google and you, yeah, you're good. Well, thank you for sitting down with me and good luck tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.